We've taken her on vacations with us. We've gone to San Francisco. We've gone to Vegas. We've gone to the different parks. So many places. So she'll have that to remember by as well. So um, I'm going to miss her, but I really think, you know, we talked about it a few years ago. There's going to be a time in our life when we have to go back and be with our kids. Thank the Lord my kids moved down. I don't know what they're going to do to me in 10 years. <laughs> Maybe I don't even know what they're going to do in 10 years, but she knows what's going on, so that's really good. <laughs> but her grandkids and her kids have been wanting to go back for a long time, and, you know, it's time for them to be loving on her more and seeing all her greats and her great greats. I mean, she's got more than I do because she. Got started earlier than I did. That's because she's older. She's older. <laughs> <laughs> My big sister, Aunt Ashley, she must have been nice. Nice. Because I don't remember her, you know, her ever being mean to me. I mean, look at that thing. She's always smiling. She's a good sister. We've always gotten along. So when she moved back down here, what? what? She chased me with a belt, so. <laughs> <laughs> You must have deserved it. She's number one. Oh, she's number one. I'm number four. He's number five. There's number three over there. Brothers and sisters. Number two passed away, but he was great. So he never got to Florida. That's why. If he moved to Florida, he'd still be here. Anyway, I want to thank you all for coming. Um, if anyone wants to say anything, let me know. But please, I'm not going home with this food, so make extra plates and manja manja. Yeah. I just want to tell you what a wonderful lady this lady really is. Years ago, uh, I belonged to the club, but uh, my husband passed away in 2004, and I was tootling around by myself. And she took me under her wing, and we uh, we did a lot of the parades in her, with a car club and in her car. And for holidays and things, she would invite me with her family to their home. And I know one uh, uh, New Year's, it was really late, and I'm driving all, because I was living in Sarasota at the time, driving up there. And Vi calls me to make sure I got home all right. But she was so good to me. And we did a lot of the affairs at the club, the coffee and the bocce, the, the uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. What am I going to say? The cookies together. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. And uh, we did a lot of those things and spent a lot of time together. But she was wonderful to me, took me under her wing when I really needed somebody. And she's a lovely person, and I'm going to miss her. Donna and I were best buddies in grade school, high school. We had more fun together. And Vi had already moved to Michigan, so I didn't really know Vi. And then I moved to Venice, and the only person I know, and one of the reasons I moved to Venice, was Miss Donna was here with Ray, who I knew, and I loved them. I was so lucky. I got, for the first time in my life, a big sister. Oh, no. She was just the sweetest person. We had more fun. We've had lunches out. We've had dinners together. She just makes you feel like home, wherever you are. Vise around, you feel like that's part of your home. I will never forget her, and I will love her forever. <laughs> uh, I, you are just the most wonderful angel. There's no story about angels. Angels sometimes come to Earth in the form of a butterfly. You are our butterfly. And each and every one of you here, I want you to share. When you see a butterfly, you're going to think of I. And in your butterfly figure is a little tea bag. I know most of you are Italian, you're drinking coffee, but I'm sorry, I couldn't. You're going to have to give that up as this Irish girl and have tea. And you have a cup of tea, you think of I. And there's a lovely little Italian sweet, which we will always remember how sweet you are. Thank you for being our wonderful fly. It was a little scary. And I wasn't scared, but I had seen this little lady walking alongside, and I said to her as I was going past, I said, be careful because there's a strange car with strange people running around, and I don't know what they're up to. So we walked together from, from there on. So we walked together, and I was telling me, and I was telling her about me, and I'm just moving here. 
And I said, why don't you come to the Italian American Club? I said, well, I'm going to. I just had that day, that week, I had just arrived in Venice, and it was a Friday. She said, you can come tonight. So I went that night, and I had my friend Jamie with me, and we both joined. joined. I said, my goodness, this must be a real Italian club. These two women, the facial characteristics, they look just like they are sisters with Sofia Lore. <laughs> you know, Sofia Lore was one of my first girlfriends. So, all the time I wanted to meet her. So I'm in the right place, I said. If I didn't meet Sophia Lorraine, the real one, I met her sister. <laughs> well, look, she looks a lot better than Sophia Lorraine right now. Look at her. <laughs> That's my opinion. Thank you very much.